Hey everyone. So today I'm just going to do a quick get ready with me. This was actually last Saturday and um, John's been working on the house. He's been actually replacing these stairs that go up to my room over the garage. So I mean the whole time I'm doing this there's nothing but saws and all kinds of stuff going on in the background. So I just decided to do it this way. Um, what I'm putting on now is just that Farsali, the blurring primer. I really like this. It really, I feel like it really creates a nice layer. Okay, this I sped up because I used two pumps of the Chanel BD41, which is just, it is just the best foundation. It is so good. It's right up there with the YSL to me. But the reason I didn't just cut this short is I wanted to... Now that I have been using a beauty blender a little bit more, I've been loving it. And what I one thing I wasn't doing is just doing it long enough. So you'll see, I mean, I just keep on and keep on and keep on and go over and over and over spots. And that is that is the t the ticket. That is the way to do it. It's just just know that you're going to spend some time, you know, kind of pressing it in. Okay, this it just doesn't matter what concealer I try. I always go back to this for my, like if I had to just pick one, I think I would just have to pick this one. And it's the NARS Concealer in Custard. And so you can see where I'm putting it. And what I try to do is let the under eyes sit there just for a minute. And, um, you know, start just kind of highlighting the chin and then kind of highlighting those, you know, creases folds beside my nose and then now I'm going over the eyes and I'm just using the same beauty blender I used so it's I wet it that morning you know before I get get started and then I just wring it out in a washcloth so it's still pretty damp and so I'm just kind of like I said with the foundation you just have to keep on and keep on working it in and um, most people are trying to make their nose look thinner I usually am trying to look, make mine look not as thin. So I put, you know, the concealer all over the top of my nose and down the sides. I just do whatever I can. I really don't know what I should do. Probably nothing. And um, so you just keep on and keep on blending that in. And, um, of course, I'm in my bathroom. And so I like to get up close. And then I usually back up far away just to see how it goes, see how it looks. Okay, I just made sure the rings, see yeah, I'm making sure there's no foundation caught in those little fine lines and I'm using another ultimate product which is the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I think when you just mix this powder with the damp sponge, it just, it just gives even that much more coverage, that much more brightening. It is just fabulous. And what I do is I usually dip it in the powder and then I kind of knock it off on my hand first so that it isn't like, you know, spots of powder. And I just go along that jawline. So I'm not really baking, but I'm just kind of pressing it in. And then this is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Powder. And it's one that is just a teeny tiny bit darker than my skin tone. I will put the number of it down below. I can't remember right off hand. I think it's like 375 or something, but just a great powder. And so I just use this to set the places that I didn't set with the Laura Mercier Translucent. Okay, now I'm using a BK Beauty brush, and this is the new, or it's new to me, Cover FX Sunkissed Bronzer. This bronzer is super soft, like you pick up a lot. So I usually, you can see how light I'm going with my brush. Just be real careful. And I usually, yeah, like knock it into the brush on the mirror. And I'm just trying to contour a little bit with it. And my face was peeling that morning. I had a place right there that was peeling. And this is just a, not a, you know, really dressed up makeup day. It's just kind of like my usual. Okay, and then this is the Laura Mercier Ritual. And see, I'm going into that pink section for my blush, 
and then I'll go in the further dark tan section for the contour. And that just handles your blush, your bronzer, and your highlight because it's got like a little bit of a sheen to it. And then to blend everything in, sometimes I go over the jawline with that Charlotte Tilbury number two. It's just so pretty. It's kind of like the Laura Mercier, just an oppressed version. Now I am just prepping my eyelids with the Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC with the Professional Beauty Blender, which is dry. I don't wet it for this. And I always, I have a kind of a prominent bottom eyelid, so I always do that. But if, if you don't, you probably don't have to do the bottom. Okay, now I'm just taking my lip conditioner off. I've been using that Fit Glow Beauty Night Serum. And then I'm just cleaning the powder and stuff out of my eyebrows. Now I'm using an old Lee Swatier brow brush that I think um, one of my subscribers sent me in when we used to do so many swaps. Someone from Canada sent that to me. And I'm using the Ash Brown Anastasia Powder, and I just love it. And my brows are doing so good now that I had that little bit removed from the end. I'll have to give you an update on that later. But all I do is come off that highest part of my brow down, and then I kind of match it with the other side. And then use what's left just to fill out any sparse areas in my brows. And then I use clear Anastasia clear brow gel. <laughs> I left that in there. I thought you guys could relate. Usually I drop the mascara wand and it just bounces all over just putting mascara everywhere but that was just the brow gel. Okay this is that Hourglass Concealer Brush and I had a little um it was like a little red place right there that was flaking and um, so I just kind of took that on the top of the foundation and grabbed a little bit of the foundation off the top. Okay, this, I'm going to go ahead and do my lip combo. That is the Kylie Cosmetics Lip Pencil in, let's see, Candy K. And these are just really good lip pencils. Very good. I like this one. I like Dolce K. I like the Ulta Limited Edition one. And then I'm going to use the lip, it's a kit, I'm going to use the liquid lip that comes with it. And just make sure, after you put it on, just make sure you work it in all of your lip lines and let it kind of set for a little bit. And then in a few minutes we'll go over it with a butter gloss. But I like to let it dry. Okay, this is the Olay spritz. It's one of my favorite setting sprays. Then I'm going back into the Cover FX bronzer in Sunkissed. I'm using the BK Beauty brush. It's the one that's kind of got a slant to it and I am just using it to kind of contour. I'm using it for eyeshadow but I'm doing more of a contour where I'm kind of framing my eyes with that bronzer. What I'm doing is the look that I had on in my, I can't remember what video that was, if it was Friday, I think it was, with the satin taupe. I'm just redoing that look because I liked it. It was so easy and I just thought it was pretty. So this, you'll do this just according to your eye shape. I really like that bronzer though. It's a, a good soft bronzer and it's not too orange and that is just a clean Smashbox crease brush. I'm just kind of blending it out. Then I'm running just a little bit on the bottom lash line. It's not even noticeable but it just adds a little, just like I said, like a frame. Okay, here I'm going to do something that I do sometimes. It's, it seems complicated, but I use the Lancome Art Liner. This is the black. And I'll start my eyeliner out with this because it's just easy. It seems to go down into my lashes nicely. And when I do this little flick, and see when I come back over my eye right here, 
see how that wand just kind of rolls right over my eye and creates just a nice swoop over so I do use this for that and then you'll see in a minute I'll come back with the black benefit roller liner and I'll fill that in and like perfect it but I like the way the art liner just the, the fact that the end of it is kind of um, I don't know what how to say it like bendy it just kind of comes right over my eye perfectly and they just both seem to match real easy and see here you'll go I'll come and I'll perfect the wing part and fill it in and of course you know not everybody wants wings so you don't have to do this you could just do a smudgy black liner and then do the what we're going to do next over that I'm just taking a q-tip and just kind of perfecting that the thing about wing liner and false lashes is it's just one of those things you know sometimes it goes you get it right the first time and sometimes you don't it's just the more you do it the easier it is but I think everybody still has everybody still has the q-tips handy <laughs> okay those were both of my Dior pump and volume mascaras this is the black and it's a really good thickening mascara and so I'm just going to put a nice coat of that black mascara on the top I'm just making sure I'm still in frame and let's see then this is where I decided to go ahead and put on the apple I think it's called apple strudel it's the light kind of a peachy nude butter gloss and it looks even better than that as the day goes on there's just something about the way it goes into that matte lipstick okay now I'm taking an old Sigma liner brush and I'm taking that Mac satin taupe and I'm just lining right over not over but right above that liner and be careful because if you go on it that eyeshadow will really kind of cover it so just make sure you stay above the liner and just kind of it just adds a little bit to it it's just amazing how something so little like that just softens it and adds just more interest and that color is just so pretty satin taupe has always been one of my favorites but if I try to use it all over the lid it just gets too dark so I was thinking I needed to use another brush so I grabbed another one of my BK Beauty brushes they're the little um, smudger brush and so I'm going to just smudge it right there on that wing and then bring it up into the crease a little bit it's going to be one of those things you don't really notice that much it just gives like a little shadow right there at the end I'm just trying to make both sides match and then I usually take a little bit and just put it right at the corner to meet up with that liner but not a lot of course if you wanted to put you know liner in your waterline and all that stuff I think if you have darker eyes that would really look good with me I just usually don't you do a lot of waterline okay now I'm putting uh, the duo dark on the star number six lashes I'm gonna let them dry and now this is the brown Dior pump and volume and look how pretty it is that is just the prettiest mascara I love the brown on the bottom I would have never thought it would have made that big of a difference but I really have enjoyed it and so I'm trying to do kind of like put them in little clumps <laughs> on the bottom and in the process sometimes they just get too long you know how you just you don't want spider lashes on the bottom so what I usually do is just get them like I want them and then you'll see I kind of just remove what's on the very end of the lashes because I don't want them too long
Okay, now I am just applying the Star Lashes number six. These just really fit my eye well. That is the key, is just finding lashes that fit your eye. And these I had already worn. I've already worn these, I don't know how many times, and they're just like brand new. And so I'm just setting those down, and that's just an Ardell lash tool that came in a kit that I bought one time. These just are curved just to fit my eye perfectly. And I'm just pressing them down into place. Okay, now I'm taking that same tool and kind of um, smushing them together with my eyelashes, mainly to make sure that that um, inside will stay down, just to get them all married together. <laughs> I should have cut all this out. Okay, and I think I am finished here. So thanks for watching, and that is Bubba on top of the garage door.